Yo, where are my son the crabs? I mean, you really can't see him here. I'll try to fix that. Yay! Okay. Um, we're doing a video called Random Crap. We made another one, but we can't upload it so for some yeah. reason. Facebook. This computer's uh, like not really Facebook. Game. YouTube. YouTube's game. Yeah, YouTube. I, I called it Facebook. It's not Facebook. It's Facebook's YouTube. awesome. It's YouTube. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So. Nice day. I'm glad this no, pollen, no. pollen finally washed away. Though. Oh, pollen yeah. Away. yeah. Okay. In America right now, according to the whatever polls, whatever, yeah, yeah the whatever polls. You, got, you ever hear of them? No, I've never no. heard of those. Okay, well, the whatever polls, I, the polls have said that Raleigh and its surrounding area, which includes Wake Forest, where we live right now, is the number one place to move to in America. But not now, because it's pollen and don't. don't. I can give you three reasons. Three, I, I know Silas, so that's three to me. So shut up if you think it's not. Uh, <laughs> three reasons why you should not move to North Carolina. Well, not move to Wake Forest. Other parts of North Carolina, I'm sure, are good. Um, number one, pollen. It ends up the spring. It looks like it's snowed outside, except the snow is yellow. And it covers everything. It's all pollen. I'll put it this way. We lived in El Paso, Texas. We had dust storms all the time. Imagine a pollen storm. Like, we were running on the track, like, right after spring break, when all the pollen just got there. I took steps, it looked like moon dust flying up to my knees every time I took a step. I mean, it was just nasty. And Disgusting. what's worse is, like, you don't even need to have allergies. This pollen comes around, you're like... <coughs> and my allergies aren't like even horrible. that bad, and I'm, like, coughing, like, my throat hurts. It, it sucks. Yeah. Number two, the humidity. Like, okay, uh, we crazy. again, we lived in El Paso, Texas, so we're used to dry heat for a while. Like, he lived in Florida, too, so he's used to the humidity where you open up your, where, like, you look out the window, you're like, wow, it looks humid out there, and then you look down your shirt, and you're already sweating just from looking outside. It and gets then you that step humid. outside, and it's like, <clears throat> like, you open up your, inside your house, it's like, it, let's just say it's 75, which is apparently good temperature. I'm going to say it's 65 degrees in your house because you're like me and you like it really, really cold, which it's, I like it really cold in my in It's nice house. and cold. I can't sleep when it's hot. I have I, to sleep when it's cold. Like yeah. When it's cold, if you get too cold, you put on more blankets. It's hot, you throw off the blankets and you sweat and you're like, all right, I need another shower. Yeah. I mean, it just it yeah. ain't worth it, you know. So I like it really cold and everything. Well... Let's just say you're inside, it's 65 degrees, humidity level, probably like 3 4%, maybe 5% if you're yeah. like special. Maybe 10% if you need a humidifier or whatever. You open up the door and it's like 80% humidity outside, but it it's 80 degrees outside, 80% humidity. It feels like it's 110. You open up the door, no, suddenly 90. it's like you just took a bath. It's like, well, that's after, whoa! You know, that's trying to take a run in the middle of the summer when it's like 100 degrees and 100% humidity. You get um, back and it's like, you might as well just jump in the swimming pool on your way back from the run. I mean, and like, Okay, some people think, oh, 100% humidity, that's rain. No, 100% humidity, you open up that door, you go... 100% humidity is like... It's so hard to breathe like when it's fog, humid. Almost, like, but not quite. But living in El Paso, like, you would go for a run. You could run for, like, hours and be like, hey, I'm feeling fine. Why? Because the air is dry. It's easy to breathe. You get here in the summer, it's really humid out. You take two steps, you're winded. You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reason number three, so that we can get off the humidity. Reason number three, not to move to Wake Forest or Raleigh or anything like that, or an area like that. Um, bad drivers. <laughs> uh, it's it's horrible. Yeah, like there's some more. I'm here. I'm on the highway 540. It's a 65. I'm going 70 in the far left lane because that's about normal for everyone. Like I go 70 past cops on there, and I'm like, yeah. I, cops don't care. I got the people to go in like 85, and they blame you for it. I did that. <laughs> Actually, it was 86, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I had to take it for that, and I, it's all good now. But um, it was so stupid when I got it too. I, I was dead tired. I'm leaving from work. I have to drive on that highway. I'm like, oh. And there's this guy right beside me, and I'm just keeping up where I'm right at his tail, so I can see his tail lights. So I'm like, okay, as long as I stay with his tail lights, 
I'm good. And so I'm, I'm just following behind him. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to look at my uh, speedometer at all because I'm too tired to like focus on tons of things. I can focus on his taillights and what's ahead of me perfectly. And I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then he pulls off. Like, crap. And then about five minutes later, I see lights behind me, like brights, and uh, another moron shining his bright. Oh, that's a cop. Dang it. Pull over. <laughs> oh, crap. Not again. Yeah, but, like, it's so stupid. Like, I'll be driving, like, the reason why I just thought, oh, brights, another stupid driver, everyone has their brights on. I know, for real. You'll be going it's down the my middle house. of the day. It's, it's one in the afternoon. You're going on... Like just a normal 35 mile per hour street in the neighborhood or whatever, you're just driving. You're like, yeah, why is this dude blinding me? <laughs> Turn off your light. It's even worse at night. Like, I'll be, I'll be driving down a back road to go to a friend's house, uh -huh. and you got like three guys in a row with brights on, and you know you're getting close to that big curve where you need to slow down just a little bit so you don't flip or you know go into the other lane, but you can't find the curve because all you see are bright headlights heading right towards you. Yeah. I just, I almost stopped one time. I was just like, alright, these guys suck. I, I flashed my brights at them and everything. They just, they're like, what? 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 Why are you flashing? Your, my lights are on bright. I, I'm already at one setting. No, you, just go. Just go. People are morons, I can tell you. Yeah. And then, like, 55 mile per hour road. Okay? Mm -hmm. I end up, like, I can't get off to one side because there's, like, there was an accident or something, so the cops closed it off. The guy in front of me, I mean, I realized, oh, the cops were back there a little ways. I still can't get over, but there are no cops anymore. You just can't get back into that lane yet, because they have, like, cones in the middle of it. So, I, okay, that's fine. The guy in front of me, no one in front of him, slows down to 35 in a 55 mile per hour lane or so. 20 miles under the speed limit is annoying. People yeah. are nosy here. Like yeah. every time they, like in Texas, there's an accident. They go, oh, that that sucks for that guy, you know. And they go and they just keep driving. I mean, they slow yeah. down when they go by the accident and they speed up and get going because that's how it, how you do it. Here, you will have traffic backed up for like ten miles because people are even past the wreck are still turned around looking at the wreck to see what happened. And they go and they turn around in, in like the um, little store next to it to get a better look. I mean, it's not your business. You know, yeah. Pray people for the guy. randomly Hope honking at you. I know it's, it's, it's so, like the light just turned green a millisecond ago, and my foot's just about to hit the gas. And the guy behind me apparently is in a rush to get somewhere, and so me being a millisecond too slow, he's like, yeah, "Move!" I can't move that fast. I'm not Superman. Some people think every every green light is like a sign to go street race too. I mean, they're, yeah, they're like revving their engine behind you. It's like, you know what? Just because well, you did actually that, actually, I do I'm that. <laughs> I well, do that just yeah. To annoy you do it people. sometimes, but like, yeah, it's really annoying. Right. The dude three cars behind you is like trying to floor it while braking at the same time because yeah. the people in front of him aren't going as fast as he wants. I'm like, dude, if you yeah. wanted to go that fast, you should have got in front. Yeah, and pretty pathetic. And that's when I go like ten miles under speed limit just to tick people off. Yeah, and because I could care less, honestly. I mean, just driving 10 miles below speed limit, do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. people mad, you behind you, <laughs> suckers. But pass, yeah. the, pass the <laughs> speed check. And then, yeah, okay, we'll just speed. we'll just come back with more stuff later. I think we only have 10 minutes, which means we have one minute to do this. Bye. Bye. Adios, amigos. Bye. That's, Whoa. that's not part Whoa. of this section. Whoa. Oh, stop that. Okay. No. What? That is horrible. <laughs> You're such a bad person.